Man, those bears were kind of weird. They were also nice. They let us stay with them. Yeah, I guess so. Anyways, we need to remember the task at hand. Yeah, we need to get Radio Sheep back to our dimension. How are we going to do that, though? You guys seem stomp, stomp, stomp. Hey, so I was kind of looking for you guys because I kind of felt bad. Feel bad about what? Well, it's kind of my fault the blonde kid and the turtle guy are back to life. What? Why would you bring them back to life? It's a long story. Just know that they had a wish for me, okay? Okay, whatever. So you said you could help us? Okay, so I know this guy with powers beyond this world. I have only spoke with him once, but he told me that he has the powers to go through time and dimensions. So I think he could help you. Okay, so where can we find him? I found him at a really tall place, but you better hurry. He might be leaving your dimension soon. Alright, thank you, Boo. Come on, Pink Yoshi. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're done. Yeah, it was a little tough. You know what? You kind of remind me of someone. Who? The old elder. He was really strong, and everyone would try to fight him to see how strong he was. One day, I challenged him and landed the first punch he's ever gotten from someone else. He trained me as his pupil, and I got stronger. In a way, you kind of remind me about how strong he was. And your existence makes me want to get stronger. It's too bad the old guy's dead. Anyways, let's move on to the next dimension, okay? Hmm. You know what? I'm killing the blonde kid when we get back. What? Why? Aren't you working with him? You're right about something. I am kind of like that old man. And since I'm you, I also have your memories, and I can see that the blonde one killed the old man. Also, I could say the same for you. Your existence makes me want to kill you. You had your chance a long time ago, and that chance isn't coming back. We'll see about that. Alright, come on. Let's move on to the next dimension. <laughs>